In this video, we will be learning to write a friendly letter with Mrs. Connect. Grab your letter writing packet from your yellow folder and let's get started. Take a moment and study the different parts of a friendly letter on the first page of your packet. We have the heading, which is where you write the date. Notice where it is located, in the top right-hand corner of the letter. Then we have the salutation, also called the greeting. And I would like you to write that down. And that is where you would write to whom you're writing the letter to. Dear Timmy, or Dear Alex, or Dear Mr. Roberts. Do you see what's capitalized here? The word dear and the person's name. Also very important, see that comma after Timmy? That's part of the greeting too, and it's not a correct letter without it. Don't forget the comma. Draw an arrow toward the comma to help you keep that in mind. Next, we have the body of the letter, and this is where most of the writing is. After that, we have the closing, which is where you would close your letter. And you could say sincerely or best wishes, your friend, warm regards, gratefully, or love. Notice there's a Another comma after that closing, and that the word love, the closing word, is capitalized. Last, oh, there's your little comma to remind you. You can actually boldface it on yours if you want to remember better. So last we have the signature, and that is where the person writing the letter signs their name. And we have grandma for this example letter. One way we can remember the parts of a friendly letter is with a song to the tune of Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes. And it goes like this. I've got my guitar right behind the computer. And I will play it for you. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. These are the parts of a friendly letter now. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Now, if you did not get up out of your chair to touch your head, your shoulders, your knees, and your toes, then stand up and join us. We're going to sing through the parts of a letter one more time. Here we go. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Let me hear you. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. These are the parts of a friendly letter now. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. All right, awesome. Now let's go ahead and move on. Now you're actually going to practice writing a short, friendly letter to me, your teacher, at the bottom of this first page. Practice using the features of the friendly letter that we just discussed. We start with a heading the date, and then you write the greeting or the salutation to open your letter. Since you're writing to me, you will write, Dear Mrs. Connect, with a comma after it. <laughs> Don't forget that. Notice the dear is capitalized and yours should be too. Mrs. is capitalized. It needs to be capitalized. And there's a period after the S. And then you capitalize my last name, Connect. And then your very necessary comma. <laughs> Next, you write the body of your letter. And I'd like you to actually tell me something I may not know about you. And then I want you to ask me a question. So two whole sentences. Write one sentence about yourself to tell me something I do not yet know about you. Maybe your favorite movie, book, color, subject, toy, or toys, game, what you want to be when you grow up? And then number two, the second question needs to be a question sentence. Ask me one question that you would like to know about me. And make it appropriate, but make it creative and interesting, because I may just write you back. All right, so pause the video to write your sentences and then come back when you're finished. 
To end your letter, you will need a closing. So, for example, sincerely is a polite and courteous way to close your letter. It's also a word I would like for you to carefully copy down because sometimes it's a tricky word to spell, but it's one that I would like you to know. Finally, we have the signature, and I would like for you to sign your name. You may have already played around with your, what your name looks like in cursive, but many people use a cursive form of their first and last name as their signature. And you can start developing what you want yours to look like even now. If you get super creative, like the example, it's hard to interpret your name. So just write it in print underneath so I know who I'm getting the letter from. The next page in your letter writing packet is your letter checklist. This will be really helpful to you when you draft your pen pal letter when you are with me tomorrow at school. I wanna walk you through each of these elements now so you're super prepared. We have the main parts, which we've already gone over, the date, the greeting, body, closing, and signature, and check out the sample closings you can choose from. You don't have to use sincerely again unless you really, really want to. Conventions that are needed in a letter are proper nouns needed to be capitalized. We already talked about people's names, but also specific places and things. The comma after the greeting and the closing of your letter, and here's Mr. Comma for a friendly, friendly uh, reminder. Um, then a comma between the city and state in the address for Oakland, California, or for here it would be Franktown, Colorado. I actually want you to write that down somewhere in this page near the convention section because you do need to know to capitalize the name of our town, put a comma afterward, and then I do need you to know that capital C, capital O are the abbreviations, the official abbrevi abbreviations that are used for, for the postal code of our state, Colorado. Another comma is needed in your date at the top of your letter. The comma goes between the date and the year. When you write, you should always reread your sentences to make sure that they are complete. Sometimes reading your sentences aloud to yourself helps you catch those fragments so your writing better uh, makes sense. And don't forget ending punctuation on all your sentences. Do you have a period after your sentences that are statements? Do you have a question mark after the sentences that are questions? You may need to go back to the front page of this packet and double check that the question you wrote me in the body of your letter has a question mark at the end. And then reread your writing to verify that you haven't accidentally misspelled a word that you already know how to spell. I mean, we're, we are all still learning how to spell here, so I have tons of grace for you about spelling. And one of those reasons is actually because I want you to be using really good words when you write, and sometimes those good creative words are hard to spell. So try to spell them as best as you can, but don't stress. I want you to use those awesome words, and we're gonna be proofreading in a session in the future to catch those spellings before we write our final drafts. Now I want you to go on a scavenger hunt and read the letter on the following page in your packet. Try to find the parts of the letter that need to be corrected and then add the missing punctuation so that it will be correct. The checklist at the top tells you exactly what you have to proofread and to look for. I reveal the answers in class and you can compare to see if you caught them all. Here are the specifics that you need to be looking for and catching in this letter. And before I forget, this word right here is the word recipient. I underlined it in yellow. It means the person receiving the letter, the person who you are writing to. Sometimes letters are more formal. We call them business letters. And what you're looking at right here is um, a form of a, a, a type of business letter, or it has more elements to that formal form of writing. And in this case, the sender included the recipient's address at the top. You don't have to do that in your pen pal letter that you'll be writing me here at school, but I do want you to be aware of it. And finally, the last page is for that pen pal letter that we're going to be drafting here in class. So you don't have to do anything with this, but be sure to put the whole packet in your yellow folder and bring it back to school tomorrow so you can check your answers on your scavenger hunt page and you have the template you need to write your pen pal letter. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.